Good evening. A newly released report blasting the city reveals high-ranking city officials put workers at the Gateway Center in danger. It was also the focus of a recent Larry Barker investigation. Now for the first time, we're hearing from city leaders. Here's KRQE News 13 investigative reporter Gabrielle Burkhardt. According to the results of a just released 43 page Albuquerque Inspector General's investigation, high ranking city officials and project staff violated federal safety regulations, jeopardizing the health and safety of employees. Why did the city miss this um, opportunity to do dil due diligence? For the first time since KRQE investigative reporter Larry Barker exposed problems with asbestos at the city's Gateway Center, city officials responded to concerns during last night's city council meeting. Uh, we failed to notify and test for asbestos in that area. John Craig, the city's director of general services, is talking about a 4,000 square foot area on the second floor of the Gateway, an area being renovated as part of the city's massive project to transform the old Gibson Medical Center into a multi-purpose homeless shelter and health services center. What we found is that last May 24th and 25th, the contractor working in that area went in and um, took out the tiling uh, in that area. What was found to be the case after the fact was that the tile glue that was glued, gluing that tile down was uh, in, indeed tested positive for asbestos containing materials. The OIG report states that asbestos was not properly disposed of and administrators did not comply with the city's code of conduct, posing a major health risk. The contractor is also uh, in part responsible for, for what happened here and our review now has, has, has uh, recognized that we did miss some steps and obviously um, not uh, happy about that. Lawrence Rael, the mayor's chief administrative officer, says his office is now working on a report to notify everyone who may have been exposed to asbestos, a substance linked to health risks like lung cancer and mesothelioma, a risk Rael appeared to downplay. It's non-friable asbestos, which basically means that it's not the kind of asbestos that you, we all hear about as it relates to the fine dust and the powder that people breathe. The chief concern, construction workers who had no idea they were working in a danger zone. The OIG report states during an on-site visit in March, most contractors present were not wearing protective gear. Only two had on masks and safety glasses. And when concerns were raised, the report states city leaders and key employees, quote, disregarded instructions to shut down the site due to possible asbestos exposure. The report cites OSHA violations that created a threat to the health of anyone in the facility. So how was this missed? A timeline shows asbestos testing took place and was properly handled in portions of the facility dating back to 2020. But a failure to test and inspect the second floor during demo last year was a major blunder. Without uh, creating, uh, if you will, a panic regarding uh, the entire facility, it's a very isolated incident that we're working with professionals to see who may have been affected that we would need to notify. The OIG report states the Environmental Health Department may have, quote, misled the public by minimizing the asbestos issue and attempting to withhold information from inspectors and the public. For the record, I mean, we do intend to issue some violations uh, based on what we found. Gabrielle Burkhart, KRQE Investigates. A city spokeswoman says the construction was halted for a time and air quality testing has since shown everything is clear. We're told city administrators were not available for interviews. The Gateway Center is still on track to officially open its first 50 beds in June. You can read the full OIG report online. Just go to always on krqe.com.